Look at this. That's a bug. What? This guy tunneled out with a hacksaw. Yeah. And then stopped and put handcuffs on. <laughs> <laughs> tweet it. Tweet it. I don't need to tweet it. It's in the alpha video. So this is Prison Architect Alpha 13, unlucky for some, but not unlucky for the Prison Architect fans, because we've got some very cool stuff coming up, haven't we, mate? We've got some very cool stuff coming up. Very shall cool I, stuff. shall I explain it to you? It's been a long time coming. <laughs> it's been a whole month since our last update. Well, yeah, but some of this stuff, th these are promises that you've been making for years. Yeah, well, yeah, there are. Hey. All right, let's get on with it then. Yep. Do you see these guys here? Right. Sleeping. Yeah, these guys sleeping. Yeah. Right. They're not actually they're sleeping. Oh. No, they're they? not. They're not sleeping. Well, we don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. We don't, we, don't, we don't know for certain where they are. But I'm telling you that these guys are digging escape tunnels. Yeah. They are. Cheeky. Right. During the daytime, they used Alpha 12's contraband system to steal tools from the workshop. Right. And to steal spoons from the canteen. Yeah. Right? All that stuff that we we're talking about. Yeah. And they, and they sneak them back to their cells. Cheeky. And now it's night time. Yeah. And they are digging away. Yeah. <clears throat> In fact... I'm going to cheat and I'm going to reveal what they're actually doing. Right. I'm going to click on this button here. Nope, that's the wrong button. I'm going to click on this button here. There we go. So you can see that this dude here, for example, Duncan Forrester, he's yeah. under the wall already. He's out the wall. He's, he's out. He's out. He's, there he is. He's already made it out. Now, I should mention at this point what well, should be obvious, which is that I've sped up the rate of digging for the purposes of this alpha video. They can't normally dig out in just an hour's work or so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That would make things a bit easier. It's like the great escape on fast forward. Yeah. And also, everybody's digging because I've got this cheat mode enabled. Just, yeah. oh, just so that you can oh, see what's going he's on. He's escaped. He's escaped. <clears throat> yeah, this guy made it. There you there go. He goes. There he is. Stacy, there's his little spoon that he was using. <laughs> he's still holding his spoon. <laughs> oh, there's another one. All right. Oh, they're all coming out. Yeah. This is a lesson, right, that from this point forwards, maximum security cell blocks that are two squares away from the perimeter wall are not a good idea <laughs> anymore, okay? They're no longer a good idea. You can see here that these guys that are tunneling after the event, this guy here, Warren Simpson, he's cunningly realized that this escape tunnel already exists. Right, And has right. then changed direction and gone through because the perimeter wall is, is costly to dig through, right? It takes yeah. a long time. These guys down here, this is a larger example, right? Check that out. So what's happened there is that multiple prisoners are digging escape tunnels, and as they dig, they're cooperating to form one continuous escape tunnel. Who would have thought that prisoners would have cooperated? Yeah, no. But once they dig escape tunnels, they become very cooperative. Common goal, my friend. Common goal. Yeah, and that this is what you, the prisoner, sees. So he's not. So he's not really here, Duncan Forrest. Um, yeah. You know, he's uh, the game is lying, and um, in order for us to discover that. Well, I think a good way to discover what's actually going on is probably to search him, right? Because if it says he's here and he's sleeping, yeah. well, how can he be there? He's not there, right? So yeah. let's click on him and let's click, let's search him. <clears throat> Again, Alpha 12 features here. Yeah, you can yeah. now search individual prisoners. Yeah, Somebody yeah. come and search him. Very well motivated guards. What's that? <clears throat> here we go. Oh, what's happened? Oh, oh, look! Guards discovered the tunnel. Yeah, they are. <laughs> oh no! And there's all the dudes that were tunneling. Look, and they're right. all they're all up with their dukes are up. <laughs> get, get them! Get them! <laughs> they're all escaping. This might be an appropriate point to put the prison in lockdown. <laughs> Stop it, man! Can't let them go out. We've already had two, three escapes already. This oh evening. my god, these guards are so inept. Ooh. It doesn't matter. I've put the prison in lockdown. They're not going anywhere. Right. <laughs> All right, I think that's, that's it. I can, put, I can end the lockdown now. Yeah, so what happened there then? Right, what did happen there? Well, <clears throat> what happened was we searched somebody that we thought was in his cell, right? Yeah. And um, it turned out that it wasn't in his cell. It turns right. out that actually what's in his cell is this thing here, right? It's a dummy. Yeah. It's, in this case, it's a basketball with a face painted on it. <laughs> but it could be a paper mache dummy that they've made in the workshop. Yeah. Or it could be um, a, Just pill a bundle of... A bundle of clothes. Yeah, yeah, a bundle of clothes. They've made up their bed to look like they're there and asleep, but they're not really. Yeah. So everyone that busted out um, was all captured at once. 
And so you, you can hear a lot of whistling going on. It's because people are escaping at the edges of the map because I've got the cheat code turned on so high. Yeah. <laughs> so for but, real, uh, the but, tunnels will be a lot slower and a, and a oh, lot yeah. fewer. Well, for one thing, these guys don't actually need to have digging tools in order to dig escape tunnels right now um, for demonstration purposes. But in the real game, uh, in the in Alpha 13, they actually need to have a, they need to have tunnels, tunneling tools, and they need to have lots of time. So you've got loads of time to discover them. Yeah. Once you've found a tunnel, um, once you've found a tunnel, you can um, it just stays there. And obviously these cells are a little bit. Yeah. Well, their their warranty is invalid, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, I, so, I'm not sure that they would, they would be fit. To be <clears throat> secure prison cells at this juncture. Not given that there's a tunnel that runs all the way to the outside, no. Yeah. So there's a new remove tunnels material which you can use and um, you can build over the escape tunnels that you found. Look at that. The and work and in concrete. <clears throat> yeah, your workman will come along and we'll, and we'll fill it with concrete and just gradually remove those tunnels. Tunnels always start from the toilets yeah. in, in somebody's cell. Um, so what can you do about it? Um, because Obviously, it's not entirely fair that prisoners can just dig escape tunnels. Um, we've we've actually had the escape tunnel technology for a long time. Um, I remember you showed me you showed me this. Yeah, this is oh. the this is the underlying escape tunnel technology. Right, this is the dig map. Yeah. It, what it shows you is it shows every prisoner what direction to dig in. Yeah. Right. So you can see that these guys here, for example, in this cell here, his best route out is to dig across yeah. and then up and then left. Yeah, and then out, yeah. right? And um, they try to avoid digging through buildings because that's expensive and slow. Yeah. And they'll try and dig around walls because that's expensive and slow. And you'll notice as well that they often dig along your pipes, right? Yeah. Your sure big fat can. pipes. So if you want to put these enormous water pipes through your walls, yeah. it creates an incredible weak spot in your prison layout. It makes tunneling a lot quicker. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's worthy of consideration. And this is actually the cool feature of escape tunnels is it forces you to rethink all the security because all these cells here, all these max security cells here that were right on the edge of the prison, that's a yeah. terrible idea. And also, when we did rumble them, they popped out here and they made it all the way to the front gate before we yeah. were able to stop them just by running. Yeah. So really, this whole prison sh needs to be um, segregated yeah. with fences. Yeah. You know, it needs to be yeah. it needs to be subdivided into sections. You know, yeah. so yeah. that if any prisoner does manage to pop out of an escape tunnel. He's only going to get so far. Yeah. Um, so I was talking about the fact that we had we've had escape tunnels working for ages, but we've we've had, we've waited until now to put them in the game um, because there's no point in putting escape tunnels in the game unless you, the player, can actually discover them, right? That's right. So what method do you think you would discover escape tunnels with? I like dogs. What? I like dogs. What? Have you seen Snatch? Oh yeah. You, you thought like that me is that meant to be an Irish accent? Right, ah, it's meant to be Brad, Brad Pitt and Snatch. <laughs> dogs, mate, dogs. Yeah, right, dogs. Ah. And um, so, but there's bad news. Oh, you, you, the dogs aren't in yet. No, they're not in yet. That, I couldn't finish them in time. I'm sorry. I just I couldn't. I wanted to put them in Alpha 12 because, you know, they're great for detecting uh, contraband and yeah. sniffing drugs. And I wanted to put them in Alpha 13 because they're great for detecting tunnels as well. Yeah. But I just, I couldn't. I couldn't get them finished in time. Oh, you have been on holiday, mate, haven't you? I've been. I was on holiday for a week and a half, which uh, is not too much to ask for after a year's development. So I think I yeah. think they'll forgive us. I got and quite a lot done on holiday, though. I shouldn't say that, should I? No, you are you are a workaholic, my friend. <laughs> so when dogs eventually make their way in, dogs are going to be in the next alpha. And um, and oh, there's a promise, everybody. Yeah, there's a promise. I'm promising. <laughs> no I promise terms. now. Dogs are going to be in the next alpha so that you can track all this stuff down. There are other ways though, there are other things that you can do. So we've got some new searching powers. Right, okay, good. So you can click on a prisoner if you suspect him of searching and uh, you can search his entire cell with that button. Yeah. Um, you can click on any object in a cell like a bed and you can say search cell, yeah. that works too. Or alternatively, if you want to go nuts, you can click on a, cell, a prisoner or any item and you can say search entire cell block. Oh, right? he's not going to be happy. And see that, see that, so the whole cell block gets yeah. searched yeah. as a result. There's another thing that you can do to stop it. You, there's a new feature called Perimeter Wall, and right. you can drag this down, and it's a very expensive and very slow to build wall. Right? And um, I don't have any art for it yet, it's placeholder art, but the idea is that this is, this is a very tall wall with barbed wire and also goes very, very deep. So, you know, that thing that I was showing you earlier, the dig map, shows yeah. what direction to dig. They will always go around the perimeter wall if they can. Right? 
they can tunnel through a perimeter wall, but it will take a very, very long time. Um, so once you've got the money, you can put perimeter walls up around, around key sections of your prison where you suspect there will be tunneling. On a completely unrelated note, you can now control the punishments handed out to your prisoners. So you can go to bureaucracy. Yes. And under bureaucracy, thing. you can unlock prison policy. Right, your chief unlocks it. And it gives you control over the punishment policy of your prison. Right? Yeah, so gonna, okay, this is very important, this. It's very important. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to accelerate time until I have that. And now as a result of that being unlocked, I can now go to reports and I get a new report called policy. Here so, it is. So before you, before you explain that, let's talk a little bit about the background of this. Because for us, uh, we've always been very keen to make a game which kind of simulates a prison in a relatively kind of fair way and doesn't allow us to put too much of our own opinion on it. So we want you to be able to build a kind of nice left-wing prison, but also a right-wing hellhole if you want to. And up to this point, there's not really been too much of that. There's only kind of really been one sort of route through the game. And I think this, um, this, this policy table actually is the first step to really allowing uh, players to really experiment with how, how hard they want to be. On the uh, on the inmates and really turn it into a, a hellhole and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, quite right. I mean, think... the, the previous way to to win the game was to was to look at the needs report, right? Yeah, and to, yeah. And to manage the needs of your prisoners, which is a profoundly left wing approach to prison yes. building, isn't it? And and many people have rightly requested the ability to ignore the needs altogether. Yeah. Right. Anything above the base needs of bladders and bowels and stuff. Yeah. So the policy report is the answer. So yeah. now, if you catch somebody during an escape attempt, for example. You might decide, well, lockdown isn't nearly sufficient. Yeah. I want solitary confinement yeah. for, oh, well, there's no upper limit, really. We can just set this as high as you want. There you go. Wow. 12 hours in solitary for an escape attempt, right? Wow, that's, that's 12 that's, hours for a complaint, mate. That would be... Well, this is a new one, right? So yeah. prisoners complain all the time, but nothing no, no, nothing happens. Like The guards don't do anything. Yeah. Right? Well, no more, right? You complain in this prison, you can be locked in your cell for an hour. You'll miss visitation, you'll miss the workshop, you'll miss the canteen. You'll just be locked in your cell, give you a chance to cool down right, and stop your whinging. Right? But it's a choice, right? By default, there won't be any punishment for complaining because yeah. you know, it's a bit That's harsh. Be, be hardcore, but it? if you want to build a really right-wing prison, remember yeah. that complaints, complaints are the first step of a full-scale riot. That's right. And if you slap down the complaints early enough, well, you might get a bigger riot, but you might get no riot. Well, yeah, because they might not have the, uh, the kind of impetus because they're so afraid of the guards. Quite right. So I've broken down as well on the different types of contraband they can be caught with now and the different punishments that they can have right. for that. You might um, be happy to let them get high, but not to have a weapon. Exactly. You might decide that having a weapon is far worse than having drugs, for example. And as we know from Alpha 12, once a prisoner has been in um, solitary confinement for a long time, he, be he becomes suppressed, doesn't he? He, he, gets, he gets this idea that he doesn't want to misbehave any longer. So longer yeah. punishments take the person out of action and also stop them from doing anything for a long time. Yeah. So I thoroughly expect prayers to be able to set this up in such a way that people are permanently suppressed within their prison. Did you just yeah. say prayers? No. You did. You, you, you said prayers because that's what you have to do when you play prison architect. <laughs> you just have to pray that it will all work out okay. You might be right. <laughs> There's an additional nice feature about this policy table, which is that you can now trigger automatic searches. So, if, for example, you catch somebody, um, say you catch somebody uh, causing serious injury to somebody else. Yeah. That's a bad example. Say they attack a prisoner, right? Yeah. You can say whether you want to be search him or to search his cell, and it yeah. happens automatically. So as, okay. soon, so as soon as they... As soon as they've been stopped from attacking another prisoner, they'll be searched and their cell will be searched. Yeah. Right? And this makes sense because um, in the case of, like, if you find somebody with tools, for example, they're probably thinking about digging escape tools. Yeah, yeah. So it makes a lot of sense to search their cell automatically. Yeah. Um, this just goes off automatically. The jobs are generated and your guards will ultimately do it. I think that um, I think there is, these are game-changing features. Escape tunnels yeah. force you to rethink the design of your prison, and the policy table gives you all kinds of new options. It's just slightly disappointing that we weren't able to put in the detection method uh, in time. But, you know, next alpha. Something to look forward to. So that is it from us. If you haven't already got involved with the alpha, you can do so now by uh, buying Prison Architect on Steam or at prison-architect.com. If you're already in the alpha, uh, we hope you enjoy the update for 13 and uh, get in touch in the forums and things and let us know what you think.